Genji is unarguably the coolest hero in Overwatch. I've always wanted to be good at playing him, but never really put the time into grinding him. But today, we're changing that. I'm dedicating the time to determine if it's possible to become good with Genji in just 10 hours. Before the start of this challenge, I had a mere 3 hours played. Let the games begin. I wasn't sure where to start, so I thought it would be good to hop into some unranked games to get a grasp on where my skill level is. Keep in mind, my main DPS heroes consist of pretty simple point and shoot characters, so I was in a different world. My instinct was to basically hop around and throw shurikens, and use my deflect whenever I got scared. In my first game, I went up against another Genji who clearly knew how to play better than me, but I stuck to my guns and hung in there anyway. My main takeaways on what I needed to improve were movement, aim, and positioning. So your basic mechanics. Oh, and my alt sucks. Although I did pretty terribly, the other Genji was kind of nice and he got play of the game, so I was kind of jealous. I had another game where my head was this Hanzo's arrow magnet, so I used my frustration as fuel to eliminate him and it eventually started working. I even got some kills with my alt and started to get more comfortable in general with Genji's playstyle. Sometimes. I knew I had a lot of work to do, but this game kind of gave me hope, and I even got play of the game this time. But if I was gonna take this seriously, I had to do some research. I spent hour or two looking up videos on how to be good with Genji, and here's what I got. Target squishies, heroes who have recently used movement abilities, and anyone who is basically alone. 2. Shuriken and dash combos that will eliminate most heroes. And 3. Focus on constantly moving and using the right click when up close with your enemies. Next, I spent a lot of time in deathmatch trying to perfect basic mechanics. Unfortunately, I wasn't invited to the Ana Club and they had some advice for me. I did my best to fight back, but apparently I was really tired and to be quite honest, I was scared. I, w I was scared. Most of these deathmatch games were filled with high mobility characters like Tracer, so I had my work cut out for me. I also learned what those videos meant about waiting for enemies to use their movement ability, but I eventually figured it out. I started to feel way more confident in my combos for the most part. I even hovered at the top of the leaderboard pretty consistently, but I really wanted at least one win. So I busted ass for these two hours and really got comfortable, started hitting more shots, and got a second place finish, so I decided to call it there. I found a couple really good workshop codes for Genji and started putting these bots in the dirt. My alt movement was still really messy, so I spent a little extra time on that. I put the nano blade together and really got used to the trajectory and distance of my abilities. This is where the turn started to table. Back into real games I went, and I soon realized that the targets are way harder to hit when they're moving. But once I got warmed up a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, I felt way better than when I started. Genji's ult is still really intimidating, so I always get hesitant to use it, but my dashes and deflect were getting spicy and I was all about it. I was even able to pull off a victory with pretty decent stats.
For hour seven, I did some much needed practice in the lab. I even found this aim trainer that slowly helps me get more accurate. I don't know if this is a good crosshair, but I ended up changing mind around a little bit. So we're just gonna run with it for now. It could be just me, but Genji is not very good at long range shots. Then I went into training mode and worked my aim in with my combos. I even spawned a Farah because she's annoying and I wanted to be able to fight her if I needed to. Now is the time, competitive. I grabbed a friend to low key pocket me so I didn't look like a complete failure to the rest of my team. The match started off okay. We had a lot of ups and downs, but I'll let you guys be the judge of how it went. Okay. I am ready. This is gonna be interesting. Got her? Anzo dead? Kiriko dead? That's the one thing that I'm not so good at yet is using my alt, so. No. No. Got the Ana. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh. All right, down. I'm down. He's down. Uh, Hanzo. Oh, I'm fighting all, everybody. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Oh. oh. Need to go back to the aim trainer. Got Hanza. Oh, time for another alt attempt. Their Bastion. GG's. After a few games, I wasn't happy with my performance and knew that I needed more practice. Even though I couldn't pull off a win, I wasn't going to give up just yet. So I went back into deathmatch, found another aim and dash trainer, and finally faced my fear of using my alt. I even upped my sensitivity to keep up with the nasty skills that I was accruing. More shots started hitting, my finishers were getting better, and things were looking up. I refused to leave this last workshop until I got six consecutive kills with my all. And I did it, just in time for the last hour. My challenge was coming to an end. To be honest, I was very happy with my improvement. But for me, it would definitely take longer than 10 hours to master. I give Genji players credit because unlike Troy's mom, he is not easy. So after 10 hours of playing Genji, here we are. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south. I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't bring me down, I'll be getting loud. Never been doubts, not what I'm about. Have your fucking cloud. It be raining now. I keep making sound. Go another round. Time legend bound. Can't stop me now.